Welcome back to Adventures with Spackman. Today, we're looking at a 60 liter duffel bag from Gonex. They claim it's waterproof. Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Let's first go over its features and then test to see if it can fit 60 liters and then get back into the waterproof test. So I reached out to Gonex after I uploaded the last tent video from Gonex, asking them when it's gonna be available again, when the tent's gonna be available again. And they said they're not sure if it's ever gonna be available again, but they asked if I'd be willing to test a 60 liter dry bag. So here we are today. It has a full Velcro enclosure on the top. Inside of the dry bag, is another button bag. I believe this is for wet items. It's got a mesh side to let items dry and then a waterproof backing. This is a pretty cool option. I doubt you can fit much into this, <clears throat> but that is an option. On the outside of the bag, if you have a name tag spot, maybe travel bag, travel tag spot. And if we flip it over, we have another zippered pocket with holes in it to let water out. Before we get into the capacity test of this bag, this is your last week to get into the giveaway for the four person nature hike tent. I'll leave it in the description down below if you're interested, the link to that video, go check it out. Now, before we get back into the pool to see how waterproof this is, let's test out the capacity. By my calculation, 60 liters is a little over 15 gallons. So I have a five gallon bucket. I'm gonna fill it three times. See if this bag will hold all that water. Let me know your predictions down below. Is 60 liters actually gonna fit in this? Let's find out. I kinda highly doubt I'm gonna be able to get all this water in there, but <laughs> let's, uh, let's find out. Oh, let's see what we got to hold this open. Ooh, that might work absolutely perfect, guys. <laughs> well, okay, that's probably gonna be the 0.4 gallons out of the 15.4. There's five gallons. <laughs> 10 gallons. It looks like it's gonna hold 15 gallons. We'll find out. All right, here we go, guys. We are 15 gallons deep. If I can get this table out of here now, see if we can close up the bag. She full. She holds 60 liters. Look at that. I think we can pick it up. I don't want to bust it. Uh oh, losing some water. We cannot judge this on the water coming through that seam. It is not strapped down properly. In my opinion, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> let's see, let's see if we can pick it up. It's off the ground. It's off the ground. It's holding. It's holding. <sighs> 60 liters. All right, so it looks like it holds 60 liters. That's pretty good. And I was able to pick it up. It did not feel like anything was gonna break. 
The quality of this bag is pretty top notch. There's no loose threads. It feels really good and it's a decent bag. So now let's get back into that pool and see if this is waterproof. <laughs> oh man, my sandals are still on. Okay, I'm gonna try to go underwater and see if bubbles come out of the ends where it's supposed to be the, you know, make it waterproof. Go underwater, Dad. <laughs> well, <laughs> it won't be up here. <laughs> <laughs> No, I see, I see bubbles coming out of this end. Can you get that on film? Yeah, I'll try. Right by my armpit? Yeah, they see that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let me move a little closer. No, they, they could see that. They can? Yeah, they, they could see it back there too. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's check this side now. Okay, let's zoom in. I see bubbles. Hold on, those bubbles might just be coming out from my shorts. Oh no, they're coming out of the top here. That's bad. Let's flip it over, get the seam right in the water. Oh, the bottom says Godex. It's a pretty bag, but if it's not waterproof, it's not a waterproof bag. Oh, I can hear it bubbling over here. Can you see those bubbles coming out? Yep. Oh yeah, up this side too. More on this side. All right, that proves that. So I'm a little disappointed that it wasn't waterproof, but we clearly see why that issue is. I mean, there's just nothing sealing these ends here at all. So that, that's why this is leaking. Do I think this will keep it keep your gear dry in rain? Absolutely. Once you fold it down and then you buckle it, there's no way for water to come up into that seam uh, unless it's completely submerged in water. If it's just tied down, water's just going to roll off of it. It's not going to get inside of it. So if you're looking for a nice water resistant bag, go check out Gonex. It's available on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Thanks for joining me on this dry bag adventure. See you on the next one. Can you see me? Yes. Today, we're looking at a 60 liter dry bag. Today, we're looking at a 60 liter. Today, we're looking at a 60 liter. Today, we're looking at a 60 liter duffel bag from Gonex. They claim it's waterproof. Let's find out.